Today, we're gonna create like artist Alma Woodsy Thomas. Alma was an expressionist painter and art educator who lived and worked in Washington, D.C. She is best known for her abstract paintings. Her art is known for its patterns, rhythm, and bright colors. Hey boys and girls, Ms. Overstreet here, and today we are going to create abstract art like artist Alma Woodsy Thomas. So go grab your art supplies. All you need today is paint if you have it. If not, markers, crayons, colored pencils, oil pastels, whatever you have would work. So grab your paper and come join me. All right, boys and girls, so the first color we're going to use today is green. And we're going to start off with a green circle right in the middle of our paper. So grab whatever you have, marker, crayon, paint, and find the middle. And go ahead and start off with a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, I would make the circle about the size of a quarter, maybe a little bigger. After you're done with your circle, clean off your brush and get ready for the next color. We're gonna be moving pretty quick today. Now, this is a great project because you can practice keeping your brushes clean, you can practice, you know, with your brush strokes. So there's a lot of benefits of this project. Our next color is going to be a similar color to green. It's going to be blue. So we're going to be going around our circle and your goal is to stay very close to your green but don't touch the green. Leave a little bit of white in there too. Clean off your brush. And I have my water right here handy. Next color is gonna be purple. You can see we're kind of using those colors on the pool side of the color wheel. Same thing, I'm gonna get as close as I can. Maybe I'll make these brush strokes a little longer this time. And I'm doing my best not to touch the blue and leaving a little bit of white space in there too. All right, I'm gonna clean off my brush again. We're gonna keep rolling. All right, so after purple, we're gonna switch on over to pink. And maybe I'll make them a little, a little thinner this time. So I'm just gonna kind of turn my brush on the side. And get them a little thinner, staying nice and close. All right, we're moving on after pink. Here comes red. This is a great project for little ones too because you can talk about colors, do color recognitions, they can practice painting, keeping control of their paintbrush. So it's really a great project for all ages. I actually find this project very relaxing. You don't have to think a whole lot about what you're doing. It's just about kind of creating with those beautiful colors. I'm gonna switch on over to orange. My circle's getting bigger. Again, I'm getting close to my red, but I'm not touching it. We kind of made that a game in third grade today. That was their challenge. Get as close as you can, but don't touch the red. Don't touch the other color that's neighbors to it. Clean off my brush. And you might need to take a break and get yourself some clean water. So after orange is my yellow. Nice big brush strokes. You can see I didn't clean off my brush that great. So a little bit of that orange is still on there. So make sure you get a nice clean brush between each color. That's okay, I can fix that later. All right. So I have gone through all my colors, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repeat the process all over again. So, I started off with green, and that's what I'm gonna be starting with, and I'm gonna keep going until my paper is full.
And that about does it. Check out how Alma has inspired my students at Cumberland Elementary. As always, thank you for creating with me at Miso Art Studio, and I'll see you next time.